Hey dear, welcome to the Proud and Matter YouTube channel. So in this lesson, we are going to illustrate a weightlifter in flat style design. So let's start. So right now we are in Adobe Illustrator and let's start with the illustration of the head portion. So I'm going to start with the rectangle tool and let's pick a skin color. So after that, I'm going to design the eyes of the character. And let's align the eyes and eyebrows. After that, group everything and duplicate it for the other side. And I'm going to reflect it vertically. Let's group everything again. I mean all the eyes and eyebrows. And just align it with the face. Okay, now let's go for the nose of the character. And I'm going to add a beard for this character. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this particular anchor point tool and just curve this path a bit. Perfect. Right now, I'm going to duplicate it again. Just press Alt and drag and I'm going to give it a darker shade of the color. Perfect. Let's add some detailing over here as well. For that, I'm also using rounded rectangle. Now let's add some hairband over here. For that I'm just duplicating the face layer and just give it, I'm going to give it color somewhere around here and I'm going to add the hairs for the character. So before that I will simply, let's adjust this ones first. I'm going to group everything and just use the ellipse tool to design the hair of the character. So I'm going to copy the one ellipse again and put it over here. Press Alt to duplicate it. Uh, sorry, press R to rotate it and just put the anchor point at the center. So for doing that, just move the cursor around and you will get a mark over here that this is the center of the circle. Now, if you don't get it, then just go to view and turn on the smart guides. Okay, after that, I'm going to press the Alt and just rotate it around 15 degrees. Perfect. And just Ctrl D to repeat the last function like this. Okay. And just group it. And I'm going to rotate it somewhere around here. Alright. Perfect. So after that, I'm going to add the necks for the character. So I'm going to use again the face layer. Alright. And let's give it some darker shade of the color. And let's proceed with the illustration of the body. Alright, so right now I'm going to add t-shirt to this character. For that, I'm going to add just a rectangle over here. And let's choose a color for the t-shirt. Let's give it a sky blue color. And I'm going to select, first of all, I'm going to add a circle again. And another one somewhere around here. So I'm going to use the shape builder tool to just eliminate all the extra shapes. For that, first of all, I'm going to group the layers of the body as well. And just copy it once again. Because when you are just uh, using shape builder tool to eliminate the extra shape, just uh, the shape below it will also get eliminated as well. So like this. So for that, always create an extra shape before that. Okay, so let's add a mouth for this character as well, which we have missed over here. So for that, I'm going to take a rounded rectangle and take this particular color and I'm going to use it as stroke, not as fill. Now I'm going to copy this again. Use the lower shape as a fill 
and I'm going to give it some dark color for the inside of the mouth. Okay, now right now just activate the draw inside. You can even press Shift plus D. So for the teeth, I'm going to use the uh, rounded rectangle. So I'm going to select all the teeth layers and just go to align and distribute the object horizontally. Okay, now right now just group it and I'm going to put one over here. And after that, I'm going to add a rounded rectangle again for the tongue of this character. So I'm going to pick this color for the tongue. All right, so the mouth portion is also done. Now let's illustrate the lower portion of the body. For that, I'm starting with a rectangle. So after that, I'm going to make this uh, leg a bit muscular. So for that, I'm going to add some detailing over here. So right now, let's design the shoes of the character. So let's proceed with the hands. So for the shoulder portion, I'm going to use circles because we are going to make this character a bit muscular. So for that, we are going to add some broad shoulders. So we are going to duplicate it for the other side and reflect it. And our character is almost done and later on we just need to add some detailing to it. But before that, let's add the weights. Alright, so with this our illustration is done and you can even go further and add more detailing to it and add some shades to it and I needed to adjust the proportion a bit so I have adjusted it in this particular illustration. So later on in the next lesson we are going to rig this character as well and after that we are going to animate this character so definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, so try it on your own and let me know how it turned out. So that is it for this lesson. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down below. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.